Hey everybody, this is a video I'm very excited about. When Home Depot first showed their stuff online, this was one of the things I was like, definitely going to get, definitely going to get. And then I had a friend talk me out of it, said it looked cheap, looked cartoony, and I didn't get it for a while. Then the craze hit, and I almost couldn't find it. I could find that stupid plan everywhere that everybody's bonkers over that apparently keeps breaking on everybody as well couldn't find this but finally found one got one um and had a chance at another one that was sitting on top of one of those plants and did not get it and i regret that because i would like to have two of these but anyway that's the backstory on how i got this grave and bones led bubbling cauldron with fire okay i wanted to put it together i uh, wanted to show you guys and plus i'm really curious to look at it and I was kind of scared um a lot of people have said that their cauldron and I've looked at mine really quick had breaks or holes or had just cracked damaged in some way and I was really scared that mine would be that way um as I've told you before we're not going to do our uh big party this year because of COVID so I debated about unboxing it but I was scared that it'd be damaged. I don't really know what I would have done if there was because there's none to be found. But um, luckily, I drew a good straw, and this one seems to be pretty intact and pretty uh, pretty um, undamaged. Okay, real quick, um, this assembly is going to be real quick. Um, it is almost nothing. Uh, it, this, this comes out fully assembled. I just wanted to show you some... Uh, uh, specifics about it. It's got, you know, obviously the green bubbling over the, the faux fire. But what I have never noticed is in the embers down here are skulls. I did not know that. Um, like I said, I've seen this only once, I think, on somebody's video. So, yeah, I, that, that's a cool touch right there. Um, so far, all I've had to do is the power adapter plugs in kind of like a blow, blow up for some reason. So I've had to put that on there. Um, but uh, inside is a little box with your uh, danglies that hang off the, uh, the end there. Um, you have this piece with the chain already attached. Um, now you do get some stakes and you do get, uh, these that go inside the bottom of the, the bottom of the poles. And what these are, I'm trying to show you, you insert them and see that hole right there. That's where you put the stakes through if you're going to put it out in your yard. I'm not going to be a, putting that in the assembly today, um, cause I'm just going to put it together for this video and for my. Uh, curiosity so I'm not gonna be putting it out in the yard yet so anyway the first step in this build is you have three poles labeled E and it looks like six poles labeled D you put a D with an E and another D and that makes one leg of the tripod and they have this little notch that fits into each other and I'm just going to show you because it's already up the table see how the notched they're notched out there so I'm you put those in and I would assume a turn to lock them down so you do D E D for one pole three times to have your three poles and then you connect your three poles into the already assembled top piece all right, well, I'm going to take a second and do that real quick. Be right back. All right, guys, got it together. Easy peasy. Like I said, you just snap those D to E to D. Put it in there, and easy peasy. Now, all I'm going to do is take product F and stick it in both sides. So let me do that real quick. All right, guys. Um, I got my sides on. They just just put those in and rotate, and they'll just slide right in. Um, 
went ahead and moved the cauldron over here because that's the next step is to move the cauldron over and place your green lid on top. The green lid has these little plastic holes. You set those over. There's two lights on your cauldron. There's one. There's one. You set those over there. Then the next thing is to take these faux chains and attach the cauldron to them. Um, let's see. So here. And this one seems a bit short. Let me try this one. All right, well, hold on a second. Let me attach these. I'm going to need both hands. Hey, I wanted to show you guys uh, real quick. This I am not a fan of. Your control box is down inside the... Um, along with the speaker, obviously. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, it's down inside the cauldron, so you have to take the top off to turn it on and off and whatnot. Center is demo. Um, and one way to the left is on, and the other way is just your lights. So I'll uh, I'll turn it to on and we'll see what it does all the way on and then I'll turn it just to lights. Um, on's just going to add the uh, the bubbling, the sound that comes with this prop. A lot of people don't like it. Um, I haven't heard it, so we'll we'll make our opinion here in a second. All right, let me get the lid back on and get it plugged in. All right, guys, here you go. Wow. Oh my gosh. And I like the sound. I like the sound a lot. I don't know why anybody wouldn't like the sound. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not getting that. Um, also not getting why it just turned off. Uh, ah, sorry, a plug came in, come out. Anyway, yeah, I love the sound. I love the sound. I'm going to turn the rest of my lights off here in the house um, so you can get the full effect of how bright it is. Oh, shoot. Well, I didn't know I had every light in the house. Here. There we go. Guys, at night, this is going to be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I can kick myself for not... For not... Um, Oh, it's on a timer, I think. Uh, maybe it's not just... No, it's my plug. I've got it into an extension cord that's not the best, so that's why. That's not the, the thing's fault. But yeah, I could kick myself for not buying that other one when I had the chance. And believe me, if I get another chance, I will buy. This is awesome. This is awesome. Could not get any simpler on the build. So, um, so there it is. The bubbling cauldron. Oh, wow. Oh, why did I not buy the other one? But at least I got one. All right, guys. These are hard to come by, but uh, if you can't find one, highly, 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 highly recommend it. This thing is badass. All right. Well, have a uh, good time. Scary hunting and scary haunting. And I will talk to you next video.